How's it going, fourth graders? It is time to start chapter seven. And here is lesson 7.1. It is going to be about adding and subtracting parts of a whole using models. So here we go. Let's take this word problem. Miss Clark has the following pie pieces left over from a bake sale. She will combine the pieces so they are on the same dish. How much pie will be on the dish? Well, I see a few key words here. So let's look at the picture we have. Well, I see one, two, three out of what looks like six pieces missing. And then I see on our other plate, she has one pie piece. Okay. And the problem saying she's going to combine, and I know the word combine means put together. So I think we're going to do an adding operation. So it says, use the model, model the problem using fraction circles. Draw a picture of your model, then write the sum. Well, that's pretty nice. They kind of drew the pictures for us here. So the first pie has three pieces, so half is colored in. So I'm going to color in this half. All right. The second pie plate only has that one slice, so I'm going to color in one slice over here. And now, if I had the three slices and I combined it with that extra slice, I would have this many first and then combined it with that other piece. Oh, I would have four of the six pieces. So to model the equation, it would be three six plus one six equals four six. So blank of pi is on the dish, four six of the pi is on the dish. Now I want you to notice that the denominator did not change when we added. There's still six pieces at, to make the whole. What we did was just add the numerators. Three plus one equals four. The denominator stays the same. Okay, so that was adding. Let's try one with subtracting. Suppose Miss Clark eats two pieces of pie. How much pie will be left on the dish? Model the problem using the fraction circles. Using fraction circles. Draw a picture of your model, then write the difference. Okay, Miss Clark, she decides to eat two pieces. So two pieces will be taken away. So I'm going to say, how am I going to model this using the fraction circle? Well, that's how much she had, right, our 4, 6. So model taking away, I'm going to have to make these pieces... Okay, not perfect, but let me try one more time. There we go. A little bit better. Okay, now four of the six are colored in. How am I going to show that she eats two of them? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to circle two of the six pieces and cross them out. So circle it, cross them out. Okay, so now I need to model, or I need to write an equation. So I would write 4, 6 is what I started with above. I took away 2 of the 6, and she ate 2 pieces. And I was left with 2 of the 6 pieces. One, two. Now notice when we subtracted fractions, once again, the denominator stayed the same. The whole is still six pieces. What we did was just subtract the numerators. Four minus two equals two. So how many pieces are left on the dish? Two six of the pie is left on the dish. Okay. A couple more problems to model for you. You might see problems like this. And you're going to have to not only draw the picture, 
but also write the equation. So the first picture I see here, I see two out of four shaded plus one out of four shaded. So two fourths plus one fourth. Well, now I kind of want to draw the picture just to make sure. Make fourths. Now I'm going to color it in. So there's the first two. And there's another one. So two fourths plus one fourth is three fourths. All right. So that was an addition example. Let's do a subtraction example down below. It looks like we had four fifths. That's what was highlighted. And one of the fifths was crossed out. So we need to write an equation. So we started with four fifths highlighted. One, two, three, four. They decided to cross out or subtract one of those fifths the red X. So when they took away that one fifth, they were left with three fifths. One, two, three. Now again, look at the equation. The denominator stayed the same. Four minus one is three. It's important that we remember the denominators stay the same. It's the numerators that are following the operation. Okay, feel free if you need to watch again, go ahead. Here are the practice problems. There are three practice problems tonight. The first one, practice problem. Let's shade these in. Let's say we had this plus this. Now, you need to draw this and you see the blank lines, you not only need to draw the model for the final sum, but you also need to write the fractions for the equation. Practice problem number two. You're just going to need to write the equation for this one. You're going to have to figure out what's highlighted, what did they start you with, how many did they take away, and then what was the difference. Last practice problem. It's a word problem. Isabel wrote the equation 1 half plus 1 six equals 4 six. And Jonah wrote 3 six plus 1 six equals 4 six to represent combining the pie pieces. Oh, they're talking about uh, Miss Clark from earlier. Explain why both equations are correct. You might need to think back to chapter six and think about equivalent fractions to answer this one. All right, have a great night.